So with the extra height to the scaffold, the plan is to fix these bolts into the external wall. Drill a hole in the wall, use these wall plugs, and then screw in these chunky bolts. The idea is that this piece of scaffold is fixed to the scaffold tower with this attachment here. And then this end gets hooked into this eyelet, which is fixed into the wall. I have four of these, not sure the correct name for them. Maybe another hour and a half, maybe two hours, and I'll be ready.
it uh, feels safer than it looks. So the plan is to run a cable from inside the house, inside the ground floor, out across the, across the railing, up one of these concrete posts, across, down, and then we can get one light into the entrance area where the main gate is, and then another floodlight um, lighting up the garden. I've got the bits, I've got everything I think I need, I've got enough cable, got some conduit, cable ties, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get started, at least start laying it out because things might change. And I don't wanna fix it to anything just at the moment because I don't know how bright the lights are. Actually, I should probably test how bright the lights are first. Let's do that. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not feeling very well. I picked up some sort of bug when I was back in London. Which is a shame really, because I've got this new microphone, which is supposed to make the audio clearer, but the cold is making me sound ill and groggy. Okay, so this, I'm gonna wrap conduit around it just so it looks a bit more professional and smart. This is gonna go into the socket, which will be mounted there, like that. Sticks out a bit, which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Okay, so with the tests or the test of the floodlight, the next step is to actually wire it in properly. I'm still not 100% on fixed on locations for the light, but I think um, they'll be good enough where they are and I'll leave a little bit of wiggle room so I can adjust them a bit later on. Oof. 
been faffing around looking at things for so long. I think I'm just going to have to just get on with it. <sighs> so these bits of conduit come with this handy piece of, I think it's plastic, um, and obviously you're meant to use it to run cables through. But stupidly I've lost it on this end and it could be, it's probably around here somewhere. Um, but I don't want to keep cutting it in case it's actually a lot shorter. So I'm going to try, just cut it to size and then try and thread it through, which I think is possible. That's sort of what I did before, but it's not how you're meant to do it. I think I've invented a strategy to thread a cable through conduit without the wire thing. Let me show you. The aim is to keep the conduit as straight as possible, which makes sense. As soon as you start walking, by walking I'm straightening out the conduit, which allows me somehow to feed it through. Almost at the end. I'll have to do a few more laps around the olive tree. Got about almost half a meter left. Here it is. Okay. There we go, okay. Okay, Eagle. Oh, it's starting to get hot now. Half three. Um, I'm gonna go get changed. Change the work boots as well. Here you go. Come on. Up. There we go. That's it.
The one last thing to do is to attach the switch to the wall next to the entrance and then tidy up and I think we're done. Having the plunge pool has been amazing and a lot of fun and a great place to cool down in the, in the hot weather. I've started putting a pump in and I'll put that in a future video. That's as far as I've got so far. Popped a cover on, uh, I've just cleared it full of apples. The apple tree above me still has lots so I expect this to be covered and I have to do it every few days. And according to the news there is another heat wave coming soon so I'm sure we'll get lots of use out of this. Just wanted to mention why we are putting the scaffold up. The plan is in, over the next couple of months to insulate the outside of the first floor. So where the render starts, all of that will be insulated. The reason the scaffold is in this position is because there are a few broken roof tiles next to the chimney stack. So they'll need replacing. I'm planning on doing that before the rain comes in the winter. I want to figure out if the chimney is supported by the hood in the kitchen. Traditional Portuguese houses have large masonry hoods within the kitchen to help exhaust fumes from a wood burner, a stove or a gas oven or something like that that was underneath. We're not using that room as a kitchen as in the future plans we will have a kitchen downstairs so we don't need that extract hood and it sort of gets in the way of the room so we would like to demolish that but if we demolish that and we find out that that is supporting the chimney above then the chimney could come crashing down into the kitchen which wouldn't be great. Having put this up I've realized that I should have the ladder section on the other side. The safest way to go up it is to go inside and up the ladder that way. You can see at the top I've actually swapped it around so the ladder's on the other side. But I think I can make do with it as it is but when I put it up again I will make sure I do it the other way around.